In this instructional video, we will learn how to use the Blue Yeti USB microphone, which can be used for recording podcasts, video essays, or conference calls with software such as BlueJeans or Skype. Great, now let's begin. First, let's review what items come with the Blue Yeti microphone kit. This comes with the microphone itself with a stand, a USB cable, and a component card with some basic instructions. To set up the Yeti, connect the USB cable into the bottom of the microphone and then connect the other end to your computer. Depending on the software you are using, you may have to adjust your computer's audio preferences to ensure that the microphone is recognized. Once there, make sure your audio input is selected to Yeti Stereo Microphone and your output is either selected to Yeti Stereo Microphone if you wish to plug the headphones directly into the microphone or the computer's default speakers if you wish to use those. Note, if you are not using headphones, be sure to keep the microphone at a good distance from the speakers to prevent feedback. Now that your microphone is connected, let's review a few of the device's functions and settings. First off, the Yeti has several buttons, knobs, and inputs you should be aware of. On the front, we have the headphone volume knob and mute button. A blinking red light indicates the microphone is muted, while a solid red light indicates it is ready to go. On the bottom, we have the USB port and headphones out, and on the back, we have a mic pattern or settings knob, which cycles between the microphone's four main recording settings. Let's review these. For most single-person recording situations, you will want to set the microphone to cardioid. To do this, turn the knob to the dented circle icon and speak into the front side of the microphone. If you are recording a two-person dialogue, we recommend using the bi-directional setting, represented by the infinity icon. If you hope to use the microphone for conference calls, set the mic to omnidirectional, which is represented by one circle. Finally, you can record in stereo, which may be more appropriate for recording musical performances. This is represented by two overlapping circles. Regardless of which mic pattern you choose, we recommend no more than 6 to 12 inches of distance between the sound source and the mic. Now that we've reviewed the proper way to set up and use the Blue Yeti USB microphone, you should be ready to record your project. Remember to double check your volume and to do a test recording before recording your project. You should do this to ensure that your audio sounds fine. To do this, simply adjust the gain knob on the back to the right to increase sensitivity, or to the left to decrease it. If you have any questions or would like to loan out equipment, please contact us.